You won't win me. Oh, I think I will. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? And today I'm going to teach you how to make that little clip you just saw. So, what you're going to do is just uh, import your two bits into the timeline. Or two bits. And it's important to keep camera angle the same so if you look the camera is in the exact same place for both clips just so, put it down a bit so this where does this one start pick it up a bit you see it's about there bang get it in very nice so just check the ending of this clip. You won't win me. It's just the end. Nice. Okay, and then do the same for the other clip. So. Recording. Let's just start some more. Right here. Nice, and now we can put one on top of the other. I like to have this one on top, just personal preference. Come down so they're not taking up so much space. X1 is considerably longer than the other. And just trim all this off. This in line with that, it doesn't really matter. So that's all better. Make it a tad louder. So all the gains, normalize the peaks. I like to normalize them to about three. Nice. Uh, three. Nice. How does that sound? Okay, so this one needs to be a bit louder. You won't win my so audio gains again. Okay, let's set it to zero. Okay, so that's good. Right, so now we're doing if you go into effect controls, select the first one. And then you get this little pack. So let's just make sure wait until you've made furthest out. Okay, so that's that. So then we just this mask in the mask again. Well, just check the opacity. So set it something. Okay, so do, do the layers cross over? No, they do not. Very good. Very very good. That's what we want to see. So, the top one selected and the top one is over there. No. Nah. Where is the extended most? This Just this. And go up to the top, that doesn't really matter. Okay, then we So we can just set the opacity back to 100%. And you can see here, there's this line going there. I'll show you how to get rid of that right now. So what you do is you go to the mask again. You go into your mask. Uh, you just increase the mask, ex mask expansion. That increases that. It's already looking roughly right. And then you just increase the feather slightly. Julio Majulio. Still like a slight line. All in all, pretty, pretty nice. So now you want to move on. Oh, I've messed something up there. <laughs> What's going on here?
we've done something very, very wrong. Ah, we've got the blend mode on darken. Uh, that's better. For some reason, the blend mode is darkened. You might want to check the blend mode before you go into that. So now you want to do this light ink. So you would get is you. So just make it longer. So you get the lightning for starters, and you switch the blend mode. I quite like color dodge. That gets rid of all this black stuff. I'll probably leave a link in the description to where I can get this lightning effect. And so now, now you want to check what's in this guy first. So, oh, um, so you want to check where does the, where does he start? Where do I start casting? So. So I've started casting a bit. I'm just like that. So I want to put a slightly effect in there. Now, yeah. scale it down. Like a little bit more. Rotate it around and have it in line with that. So, what I want to do is I want to have it coming out of the wand, expanding, then retracting. So it looks like it's a bit impulse and then it comes back. So what you would do is you double the scale thing here and you would just increase it like so and then bring it forward, attach, then Look for a couple of frames. Do a vital thing for not to so position and rotation on as well. So then you go on to the next frame. Okay, so it's moved slightly, so we move it. With it. And then uh, Premiere Pro will start making keyframes. Also, um, I'm going to have it growing to there. For a couple more frames. And then you would repeat this process until it's all lined up. So, so I'll join you after the time lapse. So uh, once you've got that all done, it should, uh, you would go and then do it with the other side and there, voila, there you go.